Hello everybody, Gareth here from Paris Technologies and looking at another Rugby World Cup predictor. This one we call the Wallaby Walkabout. Could the Wallabies go all the way? Well, recent um, games have suggested that they're not playing that well, but some of their weakest areas like their scrumming and lineouts are actually working for them against the big name uh, teams. And so you would definitely not want to write them off. And all they need is a little bit of run, uh, fast fields, a little bit of um, width on the ball, and they could definitely go all the way. So what would that look like? So a, pool A and B, we're giving it to pool A to New Zealand, um, pool B to Ireland. Um, Australia gets pool C, and then England win pool D. So you get this um, Australia-Argentina quarterfinal it's probably the most predicted Q, uh, Q, QF1, uh, first quarter final. It's the one that gets predicted the most. So, um, and we're giving it to Australia. You'd get a France Ireland quarter final. And um, yeah, it's all Northern Hemisphere. Ireland having won the Six Nations just recently over France. France now getting a chance of revenge at home in front of the home crowds and winning that quarter final. England play Wales. Very often, this is um, the predicted quarterfinal three, and England being predicted to win this one. And you get this New Zealand, South Africa clash of the Southern Hemispheres uh, teams at, in QF4. And in this particular one, the Wallaby walkabout, we're giving South Africa the win there. So in the semifinals, you've got Australia playing France. And yeah, I mean, what a great game that would be. Both of them have a lot of running um, backs that can really lots of talent, lots of the ball getting um, passed wide and a lot of running. So I think that would be fun to watch. And um, we're giving this one to Australia because we're wanting to know, you know, because of the Wallaby walkabout, we're going to see how Australia gets to the final. And we get England, South Africa, semi final. I think um, South Africa would fancy their chances there. So we give it to South Africa. And you get this Australia-South Africa final. I don't th think we've ever had an Australia-South Africa final. So, yeah, man, put in the comments if you think I've got that wrong, but I think I've got it right. And here we would give uh, Australia the win over South Africa, a new uh, world champion, Australia taking their third world Rugby World Cup, um, be defeating the reigning world champion, South Africa. That would be great to watch.